Hey, Parallel here for PurposeDreamMastery.com and today I'm going to talk about how action depicts priorities. As a way to reach out to my network and stay connected with my network is I reached out to them personally on a bi-monthly basis. It's a simple message to check up on them to see how they're doing. Most people, they appreciate me taking the time to reconnect but fortunately some people, they don't take the time to do that but after the first attempt, I give them the, the benefit of the doubt and I give them a second chance. But if after the second chance and I still don't hear back, then that's my way of filtering them out. It shows me how important I am to them if they can't even take the time to respond to a quick message. I don't want to reciprocate to people who don't make time for me. This might seem heartless, but it's just a sign of respect. I extremely value my time and I only want to use it on people and doing things that I value. Whether it's romantic or platonic relationship, it takes two people to tangle. Both parties need to put in the time and effort to make the relationship work. Your actions depict your priorities. Everyone has 24 hours a day. Hopefully you spent 8 hours sleeping and the other 16 doing whatever you want. But you go to work because it's important to you. It gives you money, hopefully joy as well. What you spend outside of work also depict your other priorities. If health is important to you, then you will go to the gym, eat healthy, meal prep. And if you value relationships, then you will spend time with your family, with your loved ones, and your significant other. But if you value work, then you might stay later, work on your side business, your actions always speak louder than words. The people that you meet, unfortunately, will say things that you want to hear because they don't want to upset you, don't want to create conflict. And in my personal experience, I learned to trust their actions, not their words. It is difficult to remove people from your life, but like I said before, it's a sign of self-respect. By removing those people who don't value you, you have more time to create more meaningful relationships with people who do. You can even use that time to pick up a hobby, work on a skill that you have been putting off. The opportunities are endless. Don't treat people as a priority if they are only treating you as an option. Back to the message example. If they don't really have that small amount of time to send back a message, how important are you in their relationship? And if they forgot when they saw your text or message, if they really care, they're going to return your text. It's just simple as that. But you can use that as your advantage because that is part of your filtering process. It's much better to have a small circle of people who support you and value you than to have a large circle of acquaintances. Those people who live with integrity and live by their words are the people who you want to further invest and reciprocate. Those are the people who will be there in your brightest and your darkest times. Your actions speak your utmost priorities in life. That's why we do what we do. A man's action always speaks his truth. If there are people who are important to you in your life and you're not taking the action to back that up, you might regret it one day because they're not going to be here forever. And for those who don't reciprocate, even though you put in the effort, have the self-respect for yourself to remove them from your life. If you truly love yourself, will you put up with someone who doesn't value you? You attract who you are, not what you want. Be true to yourself and the people who are compatible for you is going to come in and stay in your life. Be persistent and consistently take action to become the person that you want to be and create the life that you want. Now, if you have any questions about living with integrity, removing the wrong people from your life, please leave a comment below. And I love hearing from you all. Till next time, bye.